Well, we are hours away from the swearing in of Donald Trump as the 45th president of the United States. Final preparations for the inauguration are underway tonight in the nation's capital. The president elect and his family arrived at Joint Base Andrews in Prince George's County this afternoon. His spokesman says Trump is putting the final touches on his inauguration speech and plans to focus on unity. This as he enters the White House with the least favorable opinion poll in decades. Our new CBS News poll looks at how his popularity compares to previous incoming presidents. Political reporter Pat Warren joins us. She has some details. Pat? Well, Denise, if favor is any indication, according to our latest CBS News poll, a majority of Americans have misgivings about the incoming president. Donald Trump delivers his inauguration address tomorrow with historically low popularity. Our new CBS News poll puts him at 32 percent, the lowest approval rating for an incoming president in the poll's history, and a majority disapproval of the way he's handling the transition. That is not typical. Normally we see voters from the opposing party giving a little more leeway to an incoming president. Who is going to keep the promise he made on election night to be president of all of the people of this country. What they most want him to accomplish is jobs and health care tied at 20 percent, unite the country, resign, and social issues tied at five. Thank you, everybody. Nearly 60 percent of those polled are confident he'll make the right policy moves on the economy, 51 percent on ISIS, and 60 percent on U.S. trade policy. 47 percent trust his decisions on immigration, and 43 percent are confident he'll make the right decisions on foreign policy. Make America great again. As for the low approval, Trump tweeted the same people who did the phony election polls and were so wrong are now doing approval rating polls. They are rigged just like before. A Wall Street Journal poll showed more than two-thirds of Americans disapprove of Trump's use of Twitter, but he said he'll keep on tweeting in office. Back to you. All right, thank you, Pat. President-elect Trump met with the Librarian of Congress today. Carla Hayden is, of course, the former head of the Enoch Pratt Library here in Baltimore. She says Mr. Trump will use President Lincoln's Bible for his inaugural oath.